Hey guys, welcome to our 2021 rabbit season. Hey, this is the first day we went out rabbit hunting. You can hear the dogs in the background. They just jumped the first rabbit this morning. Hey guys, stay with us. Let's go run a rabbit. You know guys, uh, so, you know, we're gonna kinda title this video about training rabbit dogs and getting them ready for the season. Now, this is the first portion of December and we at a uh, farm our friend owns and I think we only have one gun, one shooter today. We, we're really not here to actually shoot rabbits. Uh, we wanna give the dogs an opportunity to get tough. Uh, come January 1, we will have access to more farms where people are not deer hunting and we don't want to disturb them now. But when you're getting your dogs ready, you got to give them time. They got a little extra weight on them from the season. Uh, their pads are tender and they need to run and toughen those pads up, especially if you're hunting four to six hours a day. And so coming out for, you know, three or four hours a day, uh, multiple times toughens the dogs up you know, it's kind of like uh, me and you when uh, we're sitting around and we're not doing a lot. We get out in the yard and we rake up a whole yard full of leaves and tote and drag it. Well, guess what? Next day we really sold. Anyway, in January and February, we got some multiple day hunts, uh, four or five days in a row to hunt. So you really need some tough dogs. They need to have toughened themselves, let me say that, up a lot in order to hunt that many multiple days. Uh, so just one note, if you're new to rabbit hunting, you need to allow your dogs time to toughen up before you know any long runs. Uh, because after today, these dogs will probably be sore for three or four days. They'll just lay around and then we'll go again uh, in a few more days. We've got the Christmas holidays coming up. And uh, so, hey, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. And uh, so anyway, hey guys, let's turn around here and see if we can get a picture of this rabbit. What gal running on rabbit? In this briar thicket right here, they work in this briar thicket trying to get the uh, old rabbit out of here. He probably just come up in the middle of the briar thicket and just sit down. They'll do that a lot of times. Uh, the dogs is on edge. First time they've hunted together. Kenny and I have dogs together, so uh, the dogs have to gel, get used to each other, and uh, calm down a little bit. A good hard run always helps the dogs calm down a little bit. And uh, Anyway, hey, we're going to get this rabbit back off here in a minute. Might get to see the rabbit come across here. I don't know. Is there another thicket down there? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, he might go in that thicket. There he goes across yonder. Here comes the dogs. Yeah, they'll get him off right here. I gotta get a close up with this. We're gonna ease up here. Rabbit might come back across this driveway right here. See if we can see him. <clears throat> so one thing we're getting dogs, see this dog here, Red? He's new to our pack. And uh, so back to actually training dogs, this being our first trip. Uh, he just had a bother on that rabbit you just seen him running. Uh, so this is a new dog to a pack, so he needs to learn all our dogs, and we need to learn his mouth, what his mouth sounds like, 
So when we're out hunting, we know which dog has struck the rabbit off or jumped the rabbit or whatever. And so that's part of your training too. You learn the dog's voices. You watch what that dog does. Is he trying to lead the pack? Is he uh, struggling? Is he way behind the pack? Or is he, you know, in the middle of the pack? You kind of want to know where that dog fits into your pack. And we have two older dogs that are probably a 13, maybe 14 now. So we're keeping an eye on those older dogs as well, seeing if they can keep up. Sometimes older dogs go to doing some crazy things when they can't keep up. And uh, so we're keeping an eye on them, keeping an eye on the older dogs, and keeping an eye on the younger dogs. Uh, most of the dogs that's been, that have been in your pack for two to five, six, seven years, you know, they know the routine. And uh, so anyway, like I always say, dogs have a lot to learn uh, when you go out in the woods and hunt. So let's ease down here and see if we can get a chance to see this rabbit. I see the rabbit right over there, right on the edge of the field. Right in, right in there. There goes a rabbit. Going up through the... Here come a rabbit back across the field. This old rabbit. This old rabbit has put the slip on him. We're gonna walk it. They go on across. You wanna... You wanna... You mean to call them up? So the rabbit put the slip on them. Way down the bottom is some more uh, big brush piles down there. So the rabbit put the slip on them. Well, either that could be a secondary rabbit. Anyway, probably the same rabbit. So we're going to help the dogs out. We're going we're gonna to call them up here and put them on the rabbit hot. Because so the rabbit got way out ahead of them on the first check that they made. Well, that's that field that you see behind me where we just saw the rabbit come across. The rabbit come across the field in the opening, darted through this thick stuff here and crossed this road going back. Uh, the dogs was having a tough time actually smelling the track for whatever reason. It's been really dry, even though it's some moisture on the ground today that the ground itself is really dry. And, you know, so we kind of taking that into consideration if you know your dogs, uh, you know the majority of the time when the moisture's content is up, they smell good and they run good. And uh, it's just, you know, a dry season, a lot of dry leaves. We hadn't had a lot of rain, so the dogs are struggling. We're hoping when they get over here in these thickets, they can, you know, take the rabbit on, so. Well, boys, we done run him up under the barn here. I know you guys will do that. That old rabbit come back across that field, across this road, and boom. Right up under this old barn right here. Anyway. Well, that's a slick rabbit. He stayed ahead of them, uh, he stayed ahead of them dogs the whole time. Uh, way ahead. He'd get, you know, sit down on them and they'd overrun them for whatever reason. And it was a long ways ahead of them. And anyway, he came out from under a barn uh, that has some equipment under it. And uh, he went back under a barn, so I guess he's back at home. So as we're talking about, uh, so to give you an update, we moved off here to the corner of this field. You can see the stick stuff behind me. And then going on down the edge, we have some uh, old pushed up laps and all that we're gonna let the dogs to hunt. So you know, it's very important when you're training your dogs. We, you know, I'm not gonna stomp all of this stuff right here. You know, hey, some rabbit hunters do, I don't do it. That's what I've got dogs for. So we're going to stand here and give the dogs a minute. Sometimes they may not want to just jump right in the thicket. But if you give them time, they'll work in these little tunnels and work their way around here. And this is an important time. You're looking around, you're counting your dogs. Well, you don't want a dog out there in the field cold trailing. You want them to hunt where you're at so you can see them. 
So it's very important if you have collars on them, if they weigh off over there, you just tone them, or even if you have to bump them on one to get them back over here so they know that they hunt along with you because you're the pack leader. So if you want them to hunt down a hedgerow, you want your dogs to hunt right in here because you want all the dogs in the hunt. That's the fun part of it, especially on the jump. So just keep that in mind. Another tip for you. Well, I didn't want to say nothing. They just jumped a rabbit up here in this thick stuff. So we've been walking with the dogs through this thick, thick stuff. I didn't say nothing at first because I thought the rabbit was coming back through this thick stuff by me. I was going to see if I could see. Him. Anyway, we're going to ease up to this road bed and see if we can get a, see if we can see this rabbit. Now they got the rabbit out here in this growed up field. Not sure whether he'll cross that field, go towards those big trees, or whether he's going to come back. Basically, a rabbit will go back where he comes from, and they jumped him right here behind me. This thick stuff. But we're just going to hang out right here and wait to see which way they go. just crossed right here at us. So we'll get to see the dogs come by. Here they come right here. So they carried the rabbit on through into those woods. You can hear the dogs coming along here. The rabbit has crossed back across this road right here. But you can hear them coming. Uh, unless it's two of them again. That should be the rabbit right there. So we'll just stand here and watch the dogs. They're coming right around the edge of these woods. They should be crossing right off that corner there. See which one comes out of lead. See, and we 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 training these dogs. So we got Maggie's first out on the track, and then we got. Runt, Bailey, Max, going on over here into this field here. And the rest are catching up. And the worst thing if you've got dogs, the worst thing you could have is still have a dog over here on the track back here. Because if these dogs go on a check over here and lose the track, they're going to hear him giving mouth and they're going to come back. So as a young dog, you want them to shut up and catch up when the lead dogs has got the track. So, hey, just another tip for you. All right, guys, I just seen the rabbit come over that knoll and come right here. So we're going to stand here and be quiet to see if we see the rabbit. Probably got up here way too close. But anyway, I wanted to see the dogs coming by. We just walked up here and the rabbit was sitting right here, probably waiting to cross the road. And he just shot back across the road right here. Huh. Yeah. Put him on that hot. I got another close up. Right here is where I just said to jump the rabbit. The rabbit went across right there. A 
since a rabbit come out and run down the road, you hear Kenny calling the dogs. So sometimes if you want to get the dogs back on a rabbit quickly, you call them to you off of the track, especially if they've made a big turn and the rabbit's way ahead of them. You see the rabbit, you can call them down there and put them right on the rabbit. And the dogs get used to hearing you call them and they'll, they'll get familiar with that. If you're calling them, they think in their mind, hey, they've got the rabbit down there, I'm going down there. Hey guys, we're getting, we getting ready to uh, end this video. You can see that I've got my hood on and it's beginning to rain on us, so we're not gonna hunt much longer when these dogs lose this rabbit. We're gonna probably ease on to the truck, call it today. Uh, today's been a good day. It's all about getting the dogs trained, get them some time on the ground because a dog has a lot to learn. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed. Hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. Uh, and hey, remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate everything everyone's been doing. Click the like button. Hit the notification bell. And please comment on the channel. If there's something specific you'd like to see us do while we're out rabbit hunting or talk about, uh, send me a uh, to, you know comment in the channel or send me an email and we'll try to do that and hey you remember it's a wild life and I'll see you in the woods